wireless networks are amazing, and it's the primary way the entire world accesses the internet. No matter where we are, like a coffee shop, a bar, or a restaurant, or where you're going, like a plane or a bus, we are always connected. So this begs the question, which Wi-Fi standard should we use for our home and or organization? Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, or Wi-Fi 7? Today, we're going to answer that question. Oh, and guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. I need more beer. First, let's talk about the differences between Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and Wi-Fi 7. Let's talk about frequency bands. Wi-Fi 6 operates in the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, while Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7 adds support for the faster 6 gigahertz band. The only downside to the 6 gigahertz band is its shorter maximum range of 50 feet. And these higher frequencies have a tougher time penetrating solid walls and floors. <laughs> now yeah. let's talk channel width. Wi-Fi 6 supports channel widths up to 160 megahertz. And Wi-Fi 6E adds an additional 1200 megahertz of bandwidth. This includes 14 additional 80 megahertz channels and seven additional 160 megahertz channels, which results in faster throughput and lower latency. And Wi-Fi 7 doubles the possible channel bandwidth to 320 megahertz. This doubles the theoretical capacity and improves user data speeds. Let's compare maximum data rates. Wi-Fi 6 supports maximum data rates of up to 9.6 gigabits per second. Wi-Fi 6E can support up to 11 gigabits per second. And Wi-Fi 7 supports maximum data rates up to 40 gigabits per second. Yeah, Holy crap. <laughs> Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and Wi-Fi 7 support MU MIMO, multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. This allows multiple devices to transmit and receive data simultaneously. With Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, they can have up to eight maximum spatial streams. And Wi-Fi 7 doubles the streams from eight to 16. And in addition, adds Multilink Operation, or MLO, to the mix. Multilink Operation, or MLO, allows a client to use all three bands simultaneously. QAM, or Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, is a method by which data packets are translated to analog signals transmitted wirelessly. Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E supports 1024 QAM, and Wi-Fi 7 increases that to 4K QAM. The result is higher efficiency, capacity, a 20% throughput increase, and higher data transmission rates compared to Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E both support OFDMA, which allows for more efficient use of the wireless spectrum. Wi-Fi 7 does support OFDMA, but with increased flexibility, which correlates to increased efficiency of your wireless network. As far as security goes, Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and Wi-Fi 7 include improvements to security protocols, such as WPA3 which provides stronger encryption and authentication. And Wi-Fi 7 will make improvements in the future like WPA4. So which Wi-Fi standard should you have in your home and or organization? The simple answer is Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6 is still amazing and Wi-Fi 7 is insanely fast. However, there is zero benefit to installing Wi-Fi 7 if you have zero Wi-Fi 7 compatible clients. And for the foreseeable future, there will be little or no Wi-Fi 7 available devices for the average consumers. The reason you need Wi-Fi 6E is because now we are starting to see many Wi-Fi 6E compatible devices. For instance, Samsung has a line of TVs that are Wi-Fi 6E compatible. The 2023 MacBook Pro, the 2023 Mac Mini, and the M2 iPad Pro are all Wi-Fi 6E compatible. This is the current list as of May 1st, 2023 of all Samsung phones and tablets that are Wi-Fi 6E compatible. And in the coming years, the six gigahertz band will be the choice for streamers, gamers, and IT professionals. 
Wi-Fi 6E is now the new standard that we all need to yeah, adapt baby. to. So if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router in your network, you need to make the upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E. You won't regret it. And when you subscribe to my channel, you won't regret that either. And guys, make sure to like, share, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And we'll see you real soon. Peace.